Hi guys, I'm Dave, and welcome back to Beer Virtually. This is the third and final beer from Abita that we're doing today. Uh, we'll probably do some other stuff from Abita um, in the future. They, they have good seasonals, good special releases. Their, their regular lineup is all pretty solid. So today, the third beer is Abita's Andy Gator. This is a Hella's Doppelbach. Initial smell is very light. It smells kind of like beer. There's not a lot of distinguishing characteristics. Also a very light pour. This beer is very, very misleading. So a Hella's beer, and I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, in general, is a German pale lager. You can see it's very clear. Very looks like looks like a glass of apple juice with bubbles in it. So Hell's beer is a um, it's a German pale lager that is usually between four and a half and six percent. So this is a Hell's Doppelbach. So there's a Bach, which is more of a multi light beer. There's a Doppelbach. Some boxes are dark though too, so I'm not sure quite how that works. But anyway, let's take the first sip. We'll keep talking. Definitely has that lager taste. And it feels light and easy drinking, but this beer is 8% which you would not guess by looking at it or by tasting it. It definitely does not taste like an 8% beer. It's an IBU of 25, which it's, I would still, I would think it would be higher than that just because there's no real sweet characteristics to it. This was $8.99 a six pack, like the other two. All pretty, pretty, uh, pretty reasonably priced, I think. Let me get it on sale, even better. Pretty cool bottle. It's a painted alligator with, uh, with a crown on him. I guess that's Andy Gator. Pretty cool coloring, the, the green with the yellow. On the back it says, Andy Gator is a fearsome beast. Don't let this toothy grin, slightly sweet flavor, and subtle fruit aroma fool you. This cold-blooded creature is a hellas doppelbach that can sneak up on you. This unique high-gravity brew is made with pale malt, German lager yeast, and German pearl hops. Sip, don't gulp, and taste the wild of a beta Andy Gator. Yeah, I would say this would definitely creep up on you. At 8%, I mean, just a couple of these would, would creep up on you. It's not quite as easy drinking as the last two, as far as how easy it goes down. But it definitely, I mean, these could, you'd be sitting around a, a barbecue or campfire or out on a boat or something like that. And I could definitely see these going down very easy. As far as the flavor, you get a definitely that lager flavor with that slight, slight irony taste. It's not very complex. It's very, it's almost monotone. But there's nothing really objectionable about it either. It's, it's very easy drinking, it's welcoming, it's inviting. But I've mentioned this before, I think. I don't know whether on, on the channel, but I've mentioned it to other friends talking about beers. The smell almost tastes like Flintstone, those Flintstone chew, chewable um, vitamins. Excuse me.
these are good. And if you were if you're looking for a buzz, this isn't a bad way to get it. I mean, a couple of these, you, you definitely feel it. And after having the other two beers, I'm starting to feel this one. Like I said, it's kind of a lazy Saturday. We did a little cars and coffee this morning, having a couple beers now. Sounds kind of ideal to me. I think I would give this, this is slightly, there's slightly something more to this than the other two beers. And it's not just the ABV. I, I think it's, it's hard to put my finger on it. I think there's a subtle complexity above the other two beers that we just did from Abita. The um, Big Easy IPA and the Grapefruit Honey lager that I'm going to go 3.75 on this but barely like I mean it's and there's nothing bad with the Abita beers that I've had so far they're just good middle of the road beers they, 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 they're kind of safe beers you, you know if you were out somewhere and you saw a bunch of stuff on the menu that you never had and then you saw some Abita, Abita beers that you never had I would say that the Abita beers are always a safe bet it's just good quality, easy drinking. I, I don't think you can really go wrong. Well, that was the end of that one. All three of those went down very easy. Um, Abita's been, here in Florida, Abita, Abita's been pretty easy to find pretty much everywhere. It's kind of a grocery store craft brand good or bad as that may be it's kind of just a, a function of maybe how long they've been in the game who they distribute with whatever it may be but i enjoyed this like i said i'd give it a 3.75 until next time cheers